welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video for y'all. I have the Eman X Catrice collection in my hands. If you want to see some swatches, if you want to see how these babies work, how they apply, what my thoughts and my opinions are about it. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. I'm super excited because I'm bringing you guys the Catrice X Eman collection, which it's great that, you know, like their packaging is super cute. They're like the cardboard boxes, you know, they have a little magnetic clasp and she came out with a set of three. So a cheeky palette, an eye palette, and a highlight palette. But these are the three guys that we got. Each one is 12 bucks a piece. So this is the palette right here. Really pretty. So those are all the shades we've got on our arm. They feel super silky, super smooth. Each one has like a, like a little inspirational quote. And so the eyeshadow palette says, strong is beautiful. The highlight palette says, you're a gold baby. And they all say I'm right down here in the corner. Um, and then the blush palette says, live what you love so the next thing is the blush palette we have Sisha, alexandria luxor and cairo Sisha, alexandria luxor cairo and then the last thing is the highlighting palette and we've got oh and also all of these come with mirrors we've got whistler victoria cerny maple so this is Whisper, Saray, Victoria, Maple. Trees, Prime and Fine. I love this. I mean, when I first bought it, literally this was all I was using on my face. So we're just going to take that. And it's a pore filling primer. And literally by chance, this is the primer I think I used in my last video. So sorry for the dupes. So today we're trying a new foundation. This is the Maybelline SPF 50 Dream Urban Cover. Full coverage, protective makeup, sunscreen, SPF 50. Antioxidant, yada, yada, yada. This one is in the shade 228 Soft Tan. this is supposed to be full coverage I don't feel like this is full coverage because as you guys know I have like redness a little bit in my skin right here and it's still visible so I picked up one of their ColourPop no filter this is in the shade medium I haven't tried this before, so it has a little simple applicator. I thought this one was the one that would match me the best. I'm okay with this concealer. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, it's got some pretty good coverage, I would say, yeah. And it's not creasing immediately under my eyes. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Perfecting HD Powder. This powder is really, like, smoothing, I would say. Um, and I know it's white, which I tend to be a little bit more hesitant about. But I do feel like it's a pretty, um... It just does a really nice job of mattifying. It does a really nice job of, um smoothing out and then to set the rest of our face because this is it's not sticky but it's definitely not a matte um, um but this is in radiant beige and it's the prime and fine catrice cosmetics prime and fine they only have t like one shade per thing so this is this guy Ok, 
Okay, so we've got some brows. So for primer, I'm using the Essence I Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base, which is gonna do one dot because this does tend to be on the creamier side of things. So first I'm just gonna set that eyeshadow base with the color Fairfax. It's the this corner over here, the lightest color in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and set I do like that that's not a white, that it's like a cream color as opposed to like a white. And then I think the next color that's like very much in the realm of like natural look is the color Sunset and that's just right next to it, right? Here is some. And I'm just going to put that, I mean there is some pickup, that's what it's looking like. I don't know if you guys can see that after tapping my brush in there but that's nothing out of the ordinary in my opinion mm. I think I'm gonna put Melrose more towards the inner corner and I'm gonna take the color Laguna Oh wow, this has like a peach iridescence to it. I would definitely say this is like her type of color. Like something soft, like she's she's got like that very soft natural vibe going to almost I like that and then I'm gonna take the color Laguna which is this center color here which has like a bronzy tone to it and I'm gonna put that in the center as a good little transition from the pink to another brown it, it, it's not showing up as much as the um, peachy toned one I don't think this is my favorite color. Um, I might have to apply it with my finger because I feel like it's not applying as evenly as um, the other one. So I'm gonna take my finger and try with my finger. That's beautiful. It's like this brown copper shimmer. It's beautiful. That's a fantastic color. And I'm just gonna blend this in a little bit more with that shade. I use that brush and the color Sunset, which is the original crease brush we were using. And just kind of add that back in because I feel like we've lost some of that color a little bit. I'm gonna use the color Runyon, Runyon, it's this like plummy brown right here. Um, but I want to go kind of light, light. They are blending beautifully, I will say that. Even though it is a more dry formula, they are blending beautifully. And then I'm just going to take a small little pencil type of brush, that same Runyon color, and put it down by the lash line. Now for eyeliner, I'm just going to take the skinny tip the wet and wild skinny tip eyeliner okay so now that we've got our liner i'm gonna go ahead and contour i'm just gonna use this profusion highlight contour kit so for the fun stuff 
um let's take the blush like i said i tend to go more towards this tone here so let's start with that one and then depending on how we feel about it we'll move on to the next so this is cairo and i'm gonna go light-handedly because i can already see a lot is on the brush oh thoughts 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 Oh, I love this color but I would definitely say use a light hand because they're buildable and remember you can always build but you would hate to like overdo it it's just harder to combat it's fixable it's just harder and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the color shisha I don't know why I struggle with that just kind of add a little bit more pink to the to the chic bones to the chic bones more pink and let's go ahead and take the color Oh, wow. Alexandria. To just add a little bit of that iridescence to the chic bowl. And then with the highlighting palette, I'm going to take the color Whistler, which is that super white. And then I'm going to take the color Saray. Okay. A little bit on the um, frostier side, which is not bad. It just means that, you know, you're going to be BAM! Having people wear their um, sunglasses indoors. And like I said, these this formula is a lot more um, dry, which... Wow, well, that's a lot. I'm just going to softly you know i'm gonna curl my lashes and i'm gonna use my all-time favorite mascara which is the catrice not catrice the essence volume stylus the pink bottle because they have a a couple different versions of it so for gloss i'm just taking my nyx suede lip liner in the color stockholm this is one of my absolute favorite colors and formulas And I'm just going to take the Milani Gloss in Nude Touch. Next, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. Okay. I don't recommend this shit. It has such a strong, such a strong chemical scent. Ugh. Okay, so final thoughts on this uh, Catrice Eman situation. All right, um, to me, the item that stands, that's the most standout that I think is definitely worth your money, go get it before it runs out, is the blush palette. Packaging is great, sleek, it's cardboard, easy to travel with, good size mirror, um, but to me these colors are just right up my freaking alley. Everything I could want in a quad of blushes right here. And like I said that, each one is 12 bucks a piece. To me the least, I don't want to say least impressive because the colors are pretty nice and you know, you can use them as inner corner highlights, regular highlight, and they are definitely blinding, but I think they're a little bit too frosty for my preference in highlights. That frostiness is, is what really kind of peeks through in all of them, so uh, for that reason, this is probably gonna be the least favorite. And then, of course, we have the eyeshadow palette. Now, for this eyeshadow palette, formula, great. Blendability, great color selection great what is the downside you may ask is that these colors are all just too common like there's no one color in here that I would say like oh yeah I don't have something similar to this literally this is what all palettes look like nowadays you know they all are these warm tone colors shimmers mattes oh and I didn't even I didn't even highlight the, the brow bone so let me 
Let me go ahead and do that right now. All right, it's a great palette for a beginner. I think that if you're a beginner, it's affordable. 12 bucks, can't beat that. 12 bucks for nine colors. You're paying a little bit more than a dollar per, per shade. Um, as far as formula goes, check. As far as, you know, pigmentation, check. As far as blendability, check. Ease of use, check. If you're a beginner, this is for you. No lies. If you don't know how to do eyeshadow, this is a great place to start. If you don't want to overspend, this is a great place to start once again. But for me personally, um, it just has too many of the colors that I already own. She is very much a person who does more natural looks and for that purpose I think that she definitely hit the ball or she hit the mark with this palette. It's this palette is fantastic for those for for that concept. Okay, so um with that we now conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you get, you know, to see me play with some of the colors and you can see for yourself the applicability and see if this is something that you think you need. But I think that um, sums up this video. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye guys.